in you know you know the level there. So I must say you sound good man if more than interested to get a job here. Yeah. I mean as a team say yeah sorry <laughs> right away. So I say alright forward come the, the January and go to the food and beverage manager when he is Mr. Rashavet, Mr. Lavan. So I go Mr. Lavan in January, you know, when I reach Mr. Lavan, you know. Mr. Lavan, I say, yeah, yeah, I win about that one a piano player, you know. Because the piano player was Frankie Bonito. And when Frankie Bonito did, they must say they want something different, like a guitar or something. So then I bought that one a piano. So I say, all right then. I did go there with my saxophone, so I take up my saxophone and show up on my back and I walk out. So I said to me, say, then you play the guitar to why you never say? I said, I'm not a guitar, so I said, what instrument that? Excuse me. And I said, the saxophone. So I said, oh, you play the sax? And I said, yeah. So I said, you think you can walk around the place and play the saxophone, make, make the people them feel good? And I say, yeah, man, of course, why not? So I say, all right, come then, we can go up in the hall here, this way, the dining here, there, and do it, make him say. So I go up there and I do it, make him say. So I say, all right, then I'm going me, bomb them, I'm going me. So I did the work at Hilton for eight months. Yeah. So I did it, now it kind of get boring, because I did it three nights a week. Um, yeah, from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the night. Me just did that, me here one sit down and play a piano and then I go play some saxophone. So I get boring, me just left school as a young youth, 21 year old. Me I said, no man, I hurt more and go see man, I can't deal with this. This is when I get like a older. Anyway, you know, <coughs> me did it. One day I'm a virgin shot me. But me and him used to play in a head now. Music in car, man. So, yo, you know, it's a lotion. I need a saxophone player for the pantry. That time, I just met Zina. Say, yeah, yeah, me. I can't deal with this sitting around this piano every minute. Anyway, the man shot me now, and the man shot me. He said that, and I said, Yes, I run now, and I just bomb now, and got the audition for lotion. Bomb them, I am. Start to revolution in 2001. This, yeah, the revolution of about two years, and things happen and times change, and vibes change, and you know, we're fairly far from solution. So, we give thanks to the experience. I'm there home for probably about a month or so, or two months, I never remember. And me get a call. The call me get was a call from Desmond Jones telling me that he want a saxophone player that can play the keyboard for up on tour with Jimmy Cliff. So me, and he remember me from the Hilton. Cause I remember so me used to do the Hilton and play. And he used to come to come sit and listen to me and play piano. So I said, the great Daisy Jones, and I said, yeah, man. And I said, all right, then, my daddy. But now I reach a Jimmy Cliff, them rehearsal. When I reach a Jimmy Cliff, them rehearsal, I know. I buck up on some young musician in my age group. Because coming from Lucian, I was older people. Because I was 21 year old. And I was the youngest somebody in my band. And... You know, it did kind of heavy in your feeling as in old and beer and them attitude. Anyway, I woke up on some young people now. Tess and Chin did that. Eh? Tess and did younger than me at the time. Because Tess and Tess and our. Tess and I must did 18 and I mean, 21, yeah. So Tess and did that. You have um, DL. You have Dwight. You have. Robert Browning, um, well, if I'm, the, the, the crew, they just, the oldest person in the band was Desi Jones at the time. So the vibes, they just nice. Now, when you reach Jimmy Cliff level now, in a reggae music, you reach a level 
Where I like Baba, you know what I mean? You, you, you can imagine Baba and Jimmy in the same kind of vibes as in Jimmy Cliff go international as movie star and music and have a lot of accolades. Bob Marley as well did well in terms of being a big reggae legend. So the experience with touring Jimmy Cliff them, it was one of me greatly appreciate because me get to meet kings and queens in the earth. Me get exposed to different things where me never did I get with Lucian really like me never did I fly first class. You know what I mean? The whole banner fly first class. We are staying at a palace. You know what I mean? So we get real, like, royalty treatment. You know, you're the most aspiring musicians and people where have big dreams and vision and go like yourself, you know? So you feel good. Some feel good. All right. Now, I know it's kind of long, but I try to make it as short as possible. We did it now, and after that, now, I do five or six years. Yeah, five years with, with, with um, Jimmy Cliff. And then the feeling in I after doing so much traveling in the earth, because we go every continent, and we go. Whole heap of city, I'm not going to say every city. I'm going to whole heap of place. I'm going to whole heap of place in the earth. I'm going to earth. I see things where I where, where, where never did know that so exist if I never did even go there in the flesh. To see. You know, one of the things that really stand out was a place where I'm going to name Tim God. Tim God in Algeria. Algeria was an experience for a boy. That is another thing we have to sit down and tell them about. So we'll compare them things in our life. Anyway, you now. So what I say is, the, after Jimmy Cliff, the feeling of me trying to make people understand the, the meaning of, of life on another level by doing it through writing was one of the things that were deep in me. Like me, I said to myself, say, them in a must can explain to people about, about what me see and how, how them can make a difference in them life just by just, you know, doing my music. Now, I start with a rhythm when I time and say, I have a produce. When I start with the rhythm, I have some artists in my mind and I sit down and I write all of them songs. <laughs> Bad tune them, you know, because I sit down and remember them tune them. Bad tune them. And I write them tune. After I done write all of them tune, you know, I reach out to them. When I reach out, I just you know, realize say, it no longer works because the levels are where the hide them, they are where the hide them. It's two different levels. So I say, you know, I can't take on this thing of myself because it's in a earth, I can learn about self. And self are one of the things them. Hence, Jador. When it reached Jador, Jador start to gain accolades. Now, the first song I put out, named This Love Is Over. I put out some song, but the first major song with video and everything was This Love Is Over. We go number one in the earth, number one in Jamaica. Number one in a different chart up to um this year me I see it on a chart in a somewhere in a Florida where the number one see me because of substance and we go with the song like free cologne security work fake people they say I'm a can go on I and I earth real reggae music prior you know and I do a whole heap of tune eh? with substance. Now, I reach a point in my life, you know, where eh? I think I can 
start to share what I know because what I know and what I experience. You see how long it takes me to tell you, no? it has still a, if it's continue to relay this, it's not going to be a one or two times, it's going to be over a period of time for the item to even get it. So, I'm going to take questions from people, opinions from people, I'm going to accept, I'm going to give. I may appreciate and I hope the item will do the same. So, I just want to wrap up this. This is just the introduction to I adore. I, which is self, adore, which is love. So, I adore self. I will continue the journey. Respect.